Hello and welcome. In today's video, we're going to look at using Mavis and DFAM together to create an expanded and more flexible patching system. DFAM is particularly well suited to interacting with Mavis's wave folder because the wave folder is gain based, meaning the louder the signal being fed into it, the deeper the folding will occur. And with the velocity row on DFAM sequencer, this dynamic approach to sequencing will have an uh, interesting effect when patched into the wave folder. So let's listen to how that sounds. I'm going to begin by patching the VCA out on DFAM to the fold in on Mavis. And then I'm also going to patch the trigger output on DFAM to the MULT on Mavis. And I'm going to patch the first copy of that MULT to the gate input on Mavis so that every time DFAM sequencer steps forward, it will trigger the ADSR envelope on Mavis. Next, I'm going to patch the second copy of my MULT into the sample and hold gate input so that the sample and hold on Mavis will be synced to the movement on DFAM. And then I'm going to patch the sample and hold output to the VCF mod on DFAM. So this means I'll get some nice pseudo-random movement modulating the filter of DFAM before it goes into the wave folder on Mavis. And then once it hits Mavis, it will still be processed through the VCF and the VCA. Um, so let's take a moment and listen to the patch that I have playing on DFAM. You can hear this is just a pretty straightforward sequence. I'm using just oscillator one set to a triangle wave, so it's got very little harmonic content. I'm going to open the filter wide open on DFAM. And now what you'll notice is when I turn the wave fold knob up on Mavis, the steps in the sequencer that have higher velocity will fold deeper than the quieter steps. So effectively, not only will this control the velocity of the sequence, but it will also control the depth of wave folding on Mavis. So let's hear how that sounds. So you can hear I can make adjustments on DFAM's velocity row to determine if a step is more heavily folded than another step. I can also reduce the folding depth to a range that I like if I want it to be slightly more subtle. So now to make the sound a little more complex, I'm going to add in VCO2, which is another triangle wave, and it's just slightly detuned from VCO1's pitch. I can almost get like a metallic FM-like timbre out of it. Now I'm going to turn the cutoff down and turn the VCF mod up so I can get a little bit of the random movement from Mavis' sample and hold to control how much of the harmonic content is being let through on DFAM's filter. And now I'm going to extend the VCA decay on DFAM. Once I have this playing, I can now go to Mavis's filter and be able to filter down the signal coming through DFAM and the wave folder. And even use the ADSR on Mavis to control our VCA amplitude shape. Now that I have this playing something I think is interesting, I'm going to go into my computer where I have two of our Moger Foger plugins set up. And I'm going to begin by turning on the MF-103S phaser. This just gives me a little bit of nice modulation movement to the sound. And then I'm also going to turn on the MF-104S delay just to add a little bit of space to the sound.
So as you can hear, DFAM and Mavis make a particularly interesting duo, and Mavis does a good job of really enhancing and expanding the timbres that we can achieve from DFAM.